Arth. Once again, GG. Second match we had tonight. I also hope you were able to possibly learn something about gender in that fight. See you again, yo, video games. Thanks very much, Arth. Uh, Mega Land, GG, dude. Good games, guys. Thanks for showing up on the models tonight. On the best of the models. Marvel vs. Capcom 1 is the greatest Marvel vs. Capcom game because I feel like you have to think the most in this one. Like, there's some busted shit, of course, but it's crazy when you think of how broken a game like Marvel vs. Capcom or Ultimate Marvel 3 is because you get hit once and you die. That's it. You die uh, by anybody that's good, uh, which is pretty freaking just painful. It's just... So damn painful. Makes the game very exciting, however. Extremely exciting, but painful. <laughs> Ping 8. This dude must, must live right next door to me. Holy shit. Yo, Nightwolf, you out there? Nightwolf? Dude? No, I don't think so. Got something crazy. Mega dude. Mega dude! Mega Man's chest looks like a bean. Ready. Fight. What the hell? My my jab went through his body. You guys saw that, right? Awkwardly dropping some info. There we go. I have a freaking uppercut. I'm gonna win this with an uppercut. What's gonna happen? Got me not my notch. Oh god. Oh god. Sure you can! Capcom, sure you can! Uh, yeah. I, that's the one thing I always forget that Mega Man's got is he's got a legit ass uppercut. Like a sure you can of legendary status. Wonderful. Thanks, Mega Dude. Oh my god, Dios is on. Dios, dude. Dude, Dios, do not pick GWM. Don't do Gold War Machine on me, bro. Don't do it to me, dude. Don't do it to me, dude. You, you understand what I'm doing. Don't do it. Pick something else. Okay, Dios X is a good sport. I will give him that. He is a good sport. Mega Man versus Jin. Let's go. Oh my god, Strider, where are you going? What the hell? Oh, whatever. Whatever. Gosh, I got cheese balled out of that one.
Oh my god, I got a botched input. He's good at this game. Okay, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. A uh, kitty cat hit me for chip damage. Shit! Shit! <laughs> so close. So damn close. Oh, I should probably just tag Jin out. I, I keep wanting to keep him in because he's like the dude of this week. I should probably just kick him out. Oh, that was tough, man. That was a good game. That was a damn good game. Let's play some matches with Dio Sex is what I should do. That'd be good. That'd be a smart idea. Let's go, Jin first, like usual. Sprite on the back. There's some combos that I was doing with Jin. It's just that they're so situational. It's stupid. Ah, it's stupid. You have to have like this corner set up with only a specific character. See that anti here? Crazy, right? Wow, they actually guard broke me. Can't throw that out at random. Whoa, I was actually holding back too, whatever. That's a little crazy. Okay, there we go. Like, if he tries to hit a button, it's definitely it's gonna trade, because Strider's got a pretty good jumping heavy. Uh, concentrating so much. So damn much. As soon as Jin dies, it's like, alright, serious time. Let's, let's freaking rock and roll. Oh. Gotta be patient in these games. Gotta freaking wait for those perfect opportune moments. That's what I like, is that you don't have, like, you know, 17, or not 17, but, you know, two different assists attacking you at once, and they all have different properties. You have this one assist, you can use it a limited amount of times, and, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's almost like, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was really fun and all, but it's almost like they were trying to, they just, just too much shit. This is way too much shit. Two. One. Zero. Chan and uh, Strider. Corossus. Alright, Jin. Against Wolverine, this is gonna be tough, dog. You ready? Oh my god, it didn't work. 
That worked. Oh my god, stop killing him! Jesus! Oh my god, he did you see that shit? Holy god! What the hell? Alright, Captain America's shield super just ate, I swear to you, three Blodia punches. Holy god! <laughs> three Blodia punches, a bunch of tigers and kitty cats, and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh my god, dude, who knew? Completely invulnerable to absolutely anything, including beef giant punchy punches. Uh, that was amazing. That was freaking awesome. That's why we're using Jin. That's why we're training with Jin is because we get to see crazy shit like that happen. Fan freaking tastic. That was amazing. I want to send that guy a message saying that was amazing. Ah. Ah. Bah. Bitch. Ah. Where would he get a guy? Oh my God! It's a rank six rider. Alright, 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 Damnation! Oh no, big RK! Psylocke, what the hell are you doing? Okay, there we go. Damn it! What, really? Not safe? Okay, 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 okay. Super jump! Hey! Super! Aye! Kitty cats, kitty cats, kitty cats, dance, 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 kitty cats, kitty cats, dance, dance, dance. Well, that went very well. I think, uh, in the end, I think I did learn some stuff with Jin. It wasn't as much like combo prowess, it's not as much like landing a 17 hit Virgil sword loop in a corner. No, it's about placing those attacks in the right spot to get your damage when you need to get it. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this week of learning some Jin on the original Marvel vs. Capcom, leave me a comment below. I think in the next uh, venture I might go into is something much more scary and much more challenging. And I'm looking at playing Hayato in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Let me know what you guys think and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this week of playing Jin in Marvel 1. My name is Max. See you next time, guys.